So three pillars of faith at home. I'm just going to show them to you, and then I'm going to take my screen off and just talk with you about them. So these pillars are tradition, ritual, and spiritual practice. So I'm going to turn off my screen for a bit and just talk with you about tradition, ritual, and spiritual practice. So like I said, when I wrote my first cookbook, my first book of faith practices at home, I organized it around traditions, rituals, and spiritual practices. Actually, the, the first book uses the term ceremony in place of ritual. That was the publisher's choice. So tradition, ritual, and spiritual practice. Now, when I talk about this, I kind of just put them all in the bucket of spiritual practice. I think there's a usefulness in pulling them out, especially when we're having a conversation like this. But for parents, if you're going to try and teach this to your parents, I don't know if you need to separate them out. You could also easily just talk to your parents about faith practices in the home. But for our purposes today, I'm going to talk about them in that way of tradition, ritual, and spiritual practice. What all the practices that I like to teach have in common is that they're easy to do. Uh, they're repeated, whether you repeat it once a year or, you know, once a day, uh, that they become habits and that they're customized to the family and that they're simple. That's my uh, kind of bread and butter. I believe that those things make for effective faith practice at home. And that's the, those are the recipes that I like to make. 